Today, here at Seattle Coffee Gear, we're going to do another crew review of the Exprelia Evo. And the Evo is just a little bit different than the original Exprelia. If you look at the old pictures, you'll see that these buttons with the backlighting around them, they're different. The display's a little bit different. Uh, the spouts are different here. They look different. And also, the carafe is different. This carafe gets the milk a little bit hotter. It actually does a better job. The milk spends more time with the steam, hence a little bit hotter. So this is a one-touch machine, which means that you can put this in here, push one of these programmable milk-based drinks over here, and whatever you have it programmed for, that's what you're going to get. And you just swing this over, the milk comes down here, the milk, coffee comes out of there, one touch. You don't have to move the cup around. So it's got programmable, three programmable coffee buttons, and it's got these two programmable milk-based drinks. And also, if you get into this special button right here, you can have just hot milk for the kids for hot chocolate, if you want. You can program the hot water. And this is where you get your steam for steaming, if you want to use, which this machine is the only one on the market other than the Seiko Excelsis that not only has the carafe for doing the milk automatically, but if you want it a little bit different and hotter or whatever, it has its own steam arm too, and it's a conventional steam arm. So you have to have a little bit of technique with that. But only machine on the market. Seiko's the only one that makes that machine. So that's basically the machine. 10 ounces of uh, beans right up in here with a gasket that actually seals so that it keeps the beans fresher. This is your dial for adjusting the grind of the beans, how fine it's going to be. Over here, we have a water tank, 54 ounce water tank. Boop. Ah, oh, gee. The guppy in there just sent some water out onto the countertop. Uh, it also has a little storage spot for this cover that goes on here when you're not using it. That's magnetic. Goes right up in there. And when I do it, I dump that and it ends up in the water tank. Just so you know. This is a bypass doser for using um, pre-ground coffee in the evening. You want to do a decaf or somebody in the house wants decaf. They can do that and still have the beans in here and use pre-ground in there. One scoop. Stainless steel casing. The newer, more square design. Um, which we like the looks of it. We think it looks pretty darn good. SPS system, which is the Seiko brewing system. This, in one direction, will give you more crema on the top of the coffee, and in the other direction, less, more like a cup of coffee. So that's basically what this machine is all about. You can get into the menu, and for each one of these drinks, you can, um, you can adjust the temperature, low, medium, high, not a lot of range, but temperature the volume of the coffee, and how strong the coffee is, which means how many grams of coffee get ground to be brewed through. Less will be weaker, more, of course, will be stronger. So you can program all of those. And on this side, you can program the milk plus the coffee side. So I say, let's make me a cappuccino, because that's usually the drink of choice for me. This uh, has double spouts that go up and down. It also has the double spouts that comes off, if you've got a travel mug you want to stick under there, you can do that as well. Uh, so, watch this. It's telling me that this is not in the right position. This is programmed, I can see, for two beans instead of three. That particular drink. And somebody else programmed it for what they like, and i just just going for it takes a second for it to get up to the right temperature to start steaming the milk. Meanwhile, I have to tell you, it's not raining in Seattle right now. It's beautiful out. We're going to have about a week of no rain and then back into fall. I hope not.
let's say you're getting more milk than what you want. It's programmed for somebody else. There's stop right there. That's enough milk for me. And I'll show you one other feature on this when this gets done. Does pre-infusion on the coffee, wait time, and then brew. Pre-infusion, wait, now brew. And again, if you're not getting what you want, getting too much, you can push the stop button. As always, latte art. Ooh. You make something different on that one. There's a little more range because the coffee, the cup is a little smaller. Okay, that's plenty of coffee. Now when you're done, let's see if it's going to tell me. Swing this over. It will clean the carafe automatically and it sends steam and water down through here, the whole system, down the arm and into the drip tray. So it cleans that out. And then take this. Stick it in the fridge, because this is still cold. It only steams what you, do, what you need. It doesn't steam the whole thing. Stick it in the fridge, pull it out, you're good to go. Mmm. That is very hot. Mm -mm -mm. Not too bad. If you want it even hotter, or if you didn't want your foam a little bit different than what it does, you can use the steam arm over here. This is pretty good. Maybe I could score a cookie somewhere. You got any cookies? No, huh? Okay. Well, thanks for watching. Expelli Evo, check it out on our webpage. Uh, all the stats are there. And leave some comments down below and read other people's comments. There's always good feedback on our webpage. Or not on our webpage, but on our YouTube channel. You know, people watch these. They talk about their experience with the machine. And tech, if you sign up for our YouTube channel, subscribe to it. You'll get all the good news. Thanks for watching.